You're listening to the Spend 10K a Day podcast, brought to you by the performance marketing experts at Mute 6. This is your source for cutting edge insight into the world of online advertising from the team with more Facebook case studies in 2016 than any other agency on the planet. Here are your hosts, Steve Wise and Stuart Anderson. Welcome back to the Spend 10K Day podcast. My name is Stuart Anderson. With me as always, my good friend, Steve Weiss. Today, we are dedicating this entire episode to one placement within Facebook, and that is Audience Network. (laughs) That's the usual reaction here from a lot of advertisers. Audience Network, it gets uh, a lot of crap. A lot of it deserved. It's like a redheaded stepchild of Facebook ads, because no one... No one really shows a lot of love for Audience Network, and you know. Whereas I feel like I've always given it a really good chance. I've always, you know, tried to build creative and do testing on the Audience Network. The Audience Network is like the one kind of black hole of Facebook. Yeah. You don't really know where your ads are actually being served. They could be being served in third-party apps. They could be on websites, on like mobile websites where Facebook has their own monetization. They could be a lot of ads are actually being served now on WhatsApp. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen talking to a couple people you know very closely now they're testing out audience network and whatsapp the the point of audience network is it's facebook's third party partnerships besides boom facebook instagram and have we made it work yes um and we we have like a little recipe for making it work i think that it doesn't work for everyone um some people it works better for but it's such cheap inventory yeah um and i feel like you need to test it out and you need to give it its testing you know, on its own beside, you know, without having to focus, without putting it in an ad set that has mobile newsfeed, regular newsfeed, et cetera, et cetera. So what I always suggest is number one, separating out audience network into its own ad set. Have to do that. Because if not, Facebook's going to serve all your ad impressions on audience network instead of Instagram, Facebook, and mobile Facebook. Because that's where all the cheapest inventory is right now. Number two on audience network is building custom creative for audience network. Remember, simplicity on audience network. Audience network is you don't know where it is. You you don't really know where it's being served. So some of our best converting images are, are as an audience network were based around t- turning text into an image. Yeah. Because <laughs> as weird as that sounds, like building an image of text that has worked amazingly well in audience network. Because remember, people aren't used to clicking on ads on other websites they you know especially facebook's ad spec so you know if it's just an image they might not click on it because they're engaged in something else so i always say make the cta the call to action as crystal clear as possible because you don't know exactly where your ads are being served um number number three you know test out with you know test out with small budgets you, you could even test out running you know running on on auto on, on bidding because there's not a lot of people bidding for that inventory. So you could actually make money on manual bidding on Audience Network, which I've tried in the past of actually running manual bidding on Audience Network instead of just bidding for conversions. Because remember, the conversion objectives on Audience Network are a lot different than conversion objectives on Facebook. Yeah, Conversion objectives on Audience Network don't really work as well as on Facebook and Instagram platform because there's a finite amount of ad, you know, of ad impressions you can serve one user who's just on a website for a specific it's on like you know si.com that's using facebook monetization as an example yeah so remember like optimizing for clicks or optimizing for something top of funnel on audience network is very very important because facebook conversion objectives don't work as good on audience network as it does on facebook and mobile mobile news feed yeah i mean the audience network is really it's it's almost kind of like a you know, similar to like all those like junk install sources, it's kind of like a junk traffic source. It's like so so cheap that you might as well try and see if you can so get something. Another from. thing that audience now we're, we're gonna have a podcast dedicated to this <clears throat> internationally. <laughs> and remember, Facebook has their monetization on a lot of American focused websites. Well, you know what? People internationally surf these American focused websites, yeah. so there's a lot of really cheap inventory internationally. On audience network, so I would say that if you if you have an if you have an offering where you're able to accept international traffic, you're able to target it. 
leveraging audience network is a great idea. Yeah. Um, but you know, I always, I think there's a lot of good learnings that you could do by investing time into audience network because a lot of people just aren't giving it its due. It's almost like Google, Google content network. If you, could you imagine if you make audience network work at scale? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be, you have a placement, ideal. <laughs> you, you, have a, you have a placement that no one else is really bidding on. And you, you know, you've built ad creative specifically that's working on audience network. So I'll leave it at this. Don't give up on audience network, separate it out into its own ad set, build custom creative for audience network with very, you know, very focused CTAs. Um, you could even, my idea in the past was to create, you know, word, words and images and, and words into images, which was our best converting creative on audience network. So I would say tr testing that out and just not giving up on it. Just making sure that you always have an ad set running at a small test to figure out if you could have some, you know, if you could get some wins out of audience network. Love it. I mean, honestly, I think you hit all the points I wanted to hit. So I think that's a, a pretty quick but very useful primer on how you can use audience network. And remember, it's almost all mobile too. So like yeah. very little impressions are coming from desktop, although they are rolling out monetization to desktop. So I would say... You know, audience network, give it a try. Don't be scared of it. And, um, you know, email us if you have any questions, any findings. We're always fascinated with people who are, who are killing it on audience network. Sounds good. This has been another episode of the Spend 10K Day podcast. I'm Stuart Anderson. With me, as always, my good friend, Steve Weiss. We will see you next time. Yep.